Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just filmed a video on this look that I am wearing right now and I just wanted to intro this video because when I initially sat down to film I was gonna do um, like a minimal eyeshadow look and then do the rest of my face like I always do and as I was doing my shadow I decided that I couldn't do that I couldn't put on foundation I just couldn't bring myself to do it I am struggling with a rash of some sort on my face you can probably see it um, it may not look like much on camera but it is really um, bothersome for me it is getting worse I don't know what it is and for someone who has had clear skin for a couple of years now it's hard <laughs> um, I used to struggle with acne my entire 20s I struggled with acne and then the past two and a half three years my skin cleared up and it's been awesome and I have loved it and then when you get you know a minor breakout or something it's frustrating um, but I get over it but this is something that has been going on for like the past month um, which has kind of kept me from filming a little bit um, it sucks so I think I'm gonna have to go see a doctor or a dermatologist or something um, because I also discovered when I was getting dressed for this video that I also have some sort of rash on my chest this is new you can't really tell can't really see it um, I don't know how long it's been there it obviously hasn't been there long if I haven't noticed it till now you know like it's frustrating so um, what I decided to do was do a one eyeshadow look minimal eye look I think it turned out great um, and then I decided to show you how I did my brows so um, all I did was put like concealer under my eyes, you'll see in the video, but this is why my face is bare and this is why I end the video with a bare face. I hope this helps someone. Um, you can give yourself confidence if you are dealing with acne or some sort of skin condition by just doing something as small as do your brows, they frame your face, they clean you up, um, put some mascara on, use one sparkly shimmery eyeshadow or something, throw on some concealer and lip gloss and you can still feel beautiful. Um, while I have this on display, I definitely feel better. Um, I would walk out of the house right now like this. Um, I just don't want to put foundation on it. I also don't want this to get on my brushes and then have it spread you know um, I'm gonna w have to wash all my makeup brushes maybe that's how this started I don't know um, anyways I'm getting off topic this is why <laughs> um, I filmed the video that I filmed and the look that I have today so I hope you guys enjoyed the look I hope um, it helps some of you if you are struggling with any you know skin problems um, if you like this video please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button and Okay guys, I am using the LA Girl Get Feverish palette and as you can see, I'm going to use this bronzy taupey color. Super pretty, great for all over the lid. Um, I'm going to put this all over and kind of wing it out very slightly and then take it into my crease but not take it very far up. As you can see, I will just take a blending brush and blend out my crease and that is going to be it for eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take this fluffy brush and then just make sure there is no harsh line from what I put into the crease. 
And that is it, my friends. I'm just going to do the same thing to the other eye. So you should know my drill by now. I am just going to curl my eyelashes and then I always use a base. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Base. And then I'm going to go in with the Lash Paradise. I feel like I should branch out and try new mascaras, but I just love Lash Paradise so much. But maybe I should try new things. Let me know down below if there is a mascara that you are obsessed with that is not the Lash Paradise. So enjoy my ugly mascara faces while I'm doing this. <laughs> I never realized how many weird faces I make until I started doing YouTube videos. So I didn't show you, um, but my second coat was the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. So now I'm going to move on to my brows and I just use this NYX um, eyebrow pencil in taupe. I love that it's double-ended. There's a spoolie on one end, which I always use, and then the crayon on the other end. So I always make sure that it's sharpened. I feel like it's a really dull point. You're not going to get, you know, preciseness. Um, and then also you're not gonna get like that natural um, look if you're trying to, you know, fill in lashes, lashes, <laughs> um, your eyebrow hairs. So um, as you can see, I start at the end or like the middle and then work out towards the end and I just do extremely small, short strokes. I will go in and brush out and then continue and brush out again. Um, again, less is more and you can always keep adding on, but like once you do too much too soon, um, it's just hard to fix. So then I go to the inner part of my brow and I outline the bottom with like a diagonal line and then I will fill in any hairs and then just brush through to make sure it is all blended and looks natural. 
and then I will go ahead and move to the other eyebrow. So again, I brush just to make sure all the hairs are going in the same direction. And then I kind of start in the middle, small, short strokes. And then I work towards the outer part of my eyebrow. So once I brush through that, then I will go to the inner part of my brow. I line at the bottom. Again, it's kind of like a straight diagonal line um, just to make it look really clean cut. And then I will just fill in um, the inner part of my brow and comb that through, make sure it looks all super natural and blended. And then I will take my concealer to shape things out. So I use the Bare Minerals um, Loose Mineral Powder Concealer, and I'm just taking a flat, um, I think this is like a liner brush, um, but it works really well to sculpt out my eyebrows. I'll go over the top part, I'll go over the bottom, just to make sure that there's no smudging, and then just to clean it up really nice. Next, I will finish with the Maybelline Brow Drama. Um, this is like eyebrow mascara, kind of. And what I do is I focus this mainly on the inner part, combing through my eyebrow hairs. Um, this will make it look super natural. And then I will just comb the rest through my brow, like what's left over on it. And this will set everything that I had done before. But I kind of like the really um, like full, um, I don't know, like wispy eyebrow hairs in the front. They just look super natural to me. Um, so that's what I use this gel for, just to like really push them up. And then I will just set the rest of my brow with, you know, what's left over. Um, and then once I'm done with my brows, I will highlight um, under my brow if I would like to. Um, so for this look, I just wanted to um, just kind of pull it all together. And then um, I just took the lightest shade in the Feverish palette. And then I will go ahead and do my lower lashes. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. The wand is like super duper thin, so it's great for lower lashes. And I just wanted like the lightest um, mascara on my bottom lashes because this was such a minimal, um, really light makeup look. Okay, just to finish everything off, I'm going to conceal very lightly under my eyes. Truly, I should have done this before my mascara, but again, I didn't pack on a lot. I let it dry, um, so it didn't affect that in any way. I'm just kind of trying to brighten um, and not even really conceal. I don't have a huge problem with dark circle circles or anything. It just kind of brightens under my eyes, makes me look more awake. And then I'm just going in with this CoverGirl lip gloss. This is just a basic nude lip gloss. All right guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you are struggling with skin problems or acne, own it, love yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.